Hello guys, and welcome to the 11 p.m. update for Tropical Storm Arthur. And uh, the the new update literally came out four minutes ago, as of this recording. So let's take a look at it. Tropical Storm Arthur, at the 11 p.m. advisory. The maximum sustained winds is still at 45, so nothing's changed there. Minimum central pressure is uh, it's down a millibar to 1,003 millibars. The location of the storm is 32.4 north and 76.9 west, and it's still it's moving north northeast, still at 10 miles per hour. All right, the Air Force Reserve Reconnaissance Aircraft finds that Arthur has changed a little as it approaches the North Carolina coast. So, I, I, that's that's good news because it's not strengthening yet, and hopefully it don't don't strengthen that much. Let's take a look at the public advisory here. Alright, it's moving north northeast or 20 degrees. If you guys like, you know, keep track of it in degrees of the movement. So that's what it's doing. The tropical storm warning is still in effect for the same areas as it was when I made my last update. And this is the actual discussion and outlook, so it just tells you where it is and where it's going and how strong it is. Though this has changed though, because the last, the 5, the 5 p.m., no, not even, the 8, the 8 p.m. showed this, that the tropical storm force winds was 125 miles out, so it's shrinking, which is absolutely amazing. Right, here is the hazards. Tropical storm conditions are expected within the tropical storm warning area on Monday. Rainfall. Arthur is expected to produce total rain accumulations of 1 to 3 inches over coastal North Carolina Sunday night and Monday, with isolated maximum amounts of 5 inches. Swells generated by Arthur affecting portions of the southeast coast. U.S. coast and are expected to spread northward along the U.S. mid-Atlantic coast during the next day or two. These swells could, could cause life-threatening surf and rip currents conditions. Please consult products from your local weather office. The next intermediary advisory is 2 a.m. The next complete advisory is 5 a.m. So yeah, uh, let's take a look at the forecast discussion real quick. And once again, you guys can read this at your guys' own leisure in these paragraphs. I want to go down the key messages. A tropical storm warning is in effect for portions of the North Carolina coast. Tropical storm force winds and heavy rains are expected there on Monday. Dangerous coastal surf conditions and rip currents are expected to spread southward or northward along the southeast U.S. coast to the mid-Atlantic states during the next couple of days. See products from your local National Weather Service forecast for more details. Alright, so here is, as of the 11 p.m. advisory, here is the position in max winds. And uh, as you can see, even in 12 hours, they don't really change it that much. They only, uh, they only have a 45. And then they still have the maximum of 60 miles per hour and dissipating at 120 hours. What is the wind speed probabilities? Let's see. The wind, uh, the wind field, the tropical storm force wind speed probabilities is actually dropping for the Carolinas. That is very good news for them. They, they are definitely going to see some breezy conditions and a lot of rain though. But I don't think it's going to be too bad. Unless this thing like strengthens like very like a lot in the next like 12 to 18 hours then uh, they don't have a very high chance anymore. Like 30 to 40 percent now. So that is certainly good news for them. What is the arrival time of the winds? Uh, about 
two two hours and fifty minutes from now, two a.m. is when they're gonna start arriving. Maybe three o'clock in the morning. So if you guys don't have very long before the winds start coming, if they come at all. Let's take a look at the cone. And yeah, the new the new cone has it. And the North Carolina is no longer in the cone of uncertainty. But then again, you know, from here to here is like a 21 hour stretch. So this could still go to the, to the west again. Which uh, is very much possible at this point in time. Uh, let's see rainfall totals here. Yeah, we're uh, inland, it's expecting one to two inches, while the inner coastal and the outer banks are expecting two to four inches. So, you guys are definitely going to be in it for the long, the long haul. And I say the long haul because not only do you have this system. But you got another system coming from the U.S. that is going to be dumping dangerous amounts of rain, copious amounts of rain, everywhere. And that's going to be moving east as time goes by, so you may get in on that action, as well as this. So, you guys need to be careful out there. And um, if you see flooded roadways, as the saying goes, turn around, don't drown, don't be an idiot, just don't drive on the roads if you see water on them. It's not worth risking your life over to see if you can actually make it across the road. You, gotta, you guys gotta use logical sense now. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we have to look at. Uh, that's about it there. Let's take a look at the visible. This, this is my go-to radar. This gives me a clear indication of everything that's going on. As you can see, there is a blow up of convection trying to blow, uh, trying to uh, make its way out. But the the center looks to be really exposed. Like honestly, there's like no convection around the center whatsoever, besides the north side of it. So I can see why they are not you know, pulling the trigger of this getting stronger that fast. As you can see, there's dry air, like, wrapped around it, preventing this from go doing anything, even though this is going right over the warm Gulf Stream. Because once the dry air hits in it, it gets into there, it's, it's pretty much all she wrote, unless you're, unless it's, a, like, a pretty powerful storm. If it's, like, like a minimal tropical storm, then that dry air is going to just eat away at it. Like it's nobody's business. And that's why it's struggling at the moment. Alright, that is the update for tonight. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. And I'll have more updates for you guys tomorrow. Good night.